launch vehicles on the launch pad some 13 kilometers away from here, being prepared to fire the launch teams in the launch control center three kilometers away from the pad. We're going to go up there in just a minute with the camera. That's right. And you can see closer up. And if all these systems are good and great, then they have authorization to go ahead. Attention pour le décor. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top, allumage vulcain. Allumage confirmé. Top, allumage EAP, décollage. Tout les paramètres à bord sont nominaux. Well, we lost her to the low clouds early, but in a blaze of light, there she is coming back out of the clouds, roaring off the pad. The DDO says everything is normal, propulsion and trajectory. In a blaze of light and a trail of gold as Arian 5 reaches into the skies above French Guiana on her way to deliver ATV-3, which will make her way to the International Space Station next week. Ah, uh, okay, we've lost her through the crowds. So, the launch vehicle first clears the pad in a vertical rise. And the you can start hearing the noise. Vol, and the launch vehicle has just passed Mach 1. It's past the speed of sound. Six kilometers in altitude, 317 meters per second. 773 tons at liftoff. She's burning five tons of fuel every second. 2.5 tons in each booster. Those are the big flames on either side. And the EPC, the core stage, in the center is burning another 300 kilos per nominal. second. One o'clock and 34 minutes. Beautiful scenes in the night of French Guiana. The first phase of flight with the boosters through 90% of the thrust. Then separation, around two minutes later. And then once we had an altitude of around 106 kilometers, the separation of the fairing. We no longer need it, and we don't want to bring unnecessary weight with us. And then finally, separation of the EPC, extinction, separation, and the startup of the EPS engine. A long boost which went perfectly normal, very smooth, and then a very long coast phase while we wait to get to the apogee of this intermediate orbit for the final boost. Yes, we at this point, we at the end of the mission, we're waiting for the very last point, the separation. Separation ATV3, Eduardo Amaldi. And it's been confirmed. Uh, we've had separation and it's been acquired by the launch vehicle. And the applause uh, heralding the good news. Ariane 5 once again delivering, successfully separating her passenger, the ATP 3. You see what that looks like up there. Uh, Luca uh, explained the spring system, which releases the 20 ton payload. She's on her way now to join the International Space Station. Docking should occur the night of the 30th. Right on target at 269 kilometers up. So the mood, as you see, very buoyant now and all across the Space Center for being focused moments before. It's a very good step, very good step. Not yet uh, the end by far, uh, but uh, the launch, one step, the deployment of the solar panel, a second step. So I think that uh, it's uh, two good steps at start. 
Parisa, it's really the, the illustration of uh, the savoir-faire, the know-how, because when you think of what happened those last months between Soyuz, Vega, and now this, I mean, you must be a very happy uh, director general. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's not only ESA, it's also all industry which is behind uh, these three, uh, three events. But it's true that uh, the launch of Soyuz in October, the launch of Vega in February, uh, the launch of today with uh, Ariane 5 and ATV 3, yes, it's a fantastic uh, six months. And uh, because uh, today the, the, the picture is very different uh, compared to six months ago, meaning that uh, we are now... Uh, uh, a significant, uh, a significant space power. I, I can say that.